Hey, there we are. Uh, on tour with Fawn and her family. They're eating. <laughs> I, Ties can eat. I mean, they, I, I'm not a big eater anymore. I used to be, but that uh, light-colored van right there on top of my head, that's the van that I rented for the day. Uh, the van with the driver and gas for the whole day is probably 4,000 baht, so 130 bucks or something, 125 bucks, whatever. Uh, great deal. Uh, out of consideration for my cost, everybody wanted to just get up really early, and they do, that's a Thai way to travel anyways. Um, they just want to get up early, hit the traveling and all that, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go up on, you know, return home late tonight, and just be, but I don't have to pay for a hotel. They don't have the money. I mean, they, it's just, if, if, if I don't pay for it, they can't do it. And, um, and we're just going to a couple temples and going to some waterfall thing, and it's all within a couple hours of home, so it's not like, uh, you know, I said we can, you know, I haven't paid for a trip in quite a few months, and I do like to treat them all to a trip, you know. My general thinking is a couple times a year, maybe, something like that. You know, I don't have, like, a specific plan on that, but it had been a while. I hadn't been feeling, as you all know, I hadn't been feeling all that well. It's just a lot of pain lately. Um, so I didn't travel much. didn't want to travel. I just want to kind of rest and then try to get through my rehab and rest, and I'm just really focused on that. Um, very difficult to travel today, super painful, sorry to be a negative guy. Um, I'm feeling a little better at the moment though. Um, I did take a 400 milligram ibuprofen and I think after the next time I eat I'm going to do a gabapentin. Uh, I got to look it up, nobody told me whether I can take those at the same time or not, or at least I don't remember if they did, I got to check that out. Um, on the way here however, in the car, being able to hear Thai and understand Thai does really help. I kept hearing a phrase over and over and over. I kept hearing Sip Hong, Sip Hong, Sip Hong, Sip Hong. That's 10 rooms. Okay, 10 rooms. Okay, but it's like, oh, like for an hour they're saying Sip Hong this, Sip Hong. Well, what the hell is with this thing that's so important? It's got 10 rooms. Okay, well, I'll tell you. It turns out there, he's not here anymore, but there was another foreign guy about older, older, I don't know how old, but like 70 or something, I guess, by the sound of it. Um, uh, foreign guy and uh, had a Thai wife of over 50 and he tried to set her up with a 10 room apartment for an income for her for an investment and so he had her borrow the money and then he was going to help make the payments or something somewhere along the line something happened and he didn't uh, the twist, the plot twist is, is the whole time she had a Thai husband. He would go back to his home country, wherever that was, and then as soon as he left, the, the Thai husband would move into her place, and as soon as he was coming back, the Thai husband would move out. Uh, and she had this husband long-term, like a real husband. Um, maybe the foreign guy found out, I don't know, but she ended up getting stuck with the debt for the 10-room apartment unit, and then she just sold it. Um, and. She runs a coffee stand now, not far from our house. Uh, she served Fawn and I coffee, I guess, once. Fawn re reminded me about the place. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know the place. And it was mediocre. I mean, most of the places are mediocre. That's why mediocre is average. Um, nothing special. But uh, anyways, kind of a strange thing. But I, I guess the lesson out of that story, that my takeaway, was two things. Uh, they, the guy was from Pattaya, so that whole Pattaya thing, generally... the all the stories I hear that involve people coming from, that have lived in Pattaya a long time, they're all sad stories. I haven't heard a good one yet. I literally have not heard a good one yet. I'm sure there are, but they're not that common because I haven't even heard one. Anyways, uh, I'll walk a little bit here if I can. And then uh, see this, we're at some temple. I'll get the name, and give me the name. And uh, why am I so pale? I live in Thailand. Why am I not tan? Um, Uh, and then the woman was over 50, and it didn't help the guy either. So, you know, yeah, the young smoking hot girl is going to be generally more trouble, but an older one obviously is no guarantee of decent behavior because uh, she was pretty rotten. I mean, she had a husband, a Thai husband, the whole time, and, the, and we're back to that, are you the real husband one that I put up. That, when I made that, I didn't realize quite how common it is, and it's really common. 
out here, I, don't, I can't give it a percentage, but it is absolutely not uncommon. Not uncommon. Oh, they got Don Mai. You can buy little trees and plants and stuff. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's one thing I really do feel comfortable with Fawn. I really don't think that she would uh, give me any trouble like that. And it is, that's a huge plus. Um, hopefully, she and I will both continue to calm down and do well together. Yeah. You can kind of see the place a little bit here. I don't, I don't know what temple this is or anything. I'll have to ask her. But. Anyhow, so it was just an interesting story on the way here. Uh, very surprised that uh, a woman that age was doing that. But in all honesty, I know another Thai woman that's close to 60 that's got a real full-on husband, like a full marriage. And she's got at least one geek, but I think that he's not the only one. I, there's reasons why I'm not going to say, but... I'm pretty sure he's not the only one. Anyway, so, you know, uh, and she's worked in Pattaya a long time, many years. So that whole Pattaya connection just generally doesn't do anyone a lot of favors. There is sort of a lesson there. It's the old thing. What is it? How, do you, how does that go? You can take the bar girl out of the bar, but you can't take the bar out of the girl or however you say that. I can't say that right this morning. My brain's not working, but... Uh, a lot of the, the bar girls and the, and, the, and the tourist area workers and various whatever types that you want to call that, they do at some point tire of that life and try to retire to the village, but they never reform. I've never heard of one reforming. It's, it's all ugly. It's all ugly all the time. And here comes Kim, my little Puchuai. Where's Kim? Oh, there's Kim. He's, he's, he's been really good lately. And by lately, I mean like, I don't know, the last month. He's been really no trouble. He's been pretty good. All right, bye. Go on. Go on. This is how we travel. <laughs> Bonkers. It's quite pretty. I mean, all the ones they pick are rather nice, honestly. So. so. There's where I just came through, just for a reference. And... And we go here. I kind of like this green tile, like to have this around your outdoor of your house, kind of create a grass kind of feel. And it does sort of create that kind of emotion, sort of that kind of warm fuzzy that a lawn gives you. And in the West, we're used to an English lawn. <laughs> On my bang got no share. I got five curly pies, two guy, two chicken, and uh, some sopolo, three pineapple, and I got two different song chu, two sets of uh, two different kinds of moo wan, sweet pork. I, I don't know why there's two different kinds. Uh, they just call them both moo wan, so they don't have a different name for them. But they're probably insanely good and bad for you. Holy crap, am I in big trouble. I've been an hour in the car and I'm in agony. I think, uh, I don't know how I'm getting to my daughter's wedding 24 hours in the fucking party. Hard and squaring, but oh my god, this hurts. Alright, I'm gonna go buy some soda water. That's it. That's just a couple pieces of footage I had from that uh, temple video where I started that story. No. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.